Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and we are revisiting Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail because the backer build 1.1, which is still in closed alpha, is now available, and it's added some updates to the game as well as a number of fixes. Uh, if you watched my last video where I played the Inconveniences battle, you saw that some of the enemy fleet actually left the map where I couldn't really engage them. That is one of the things that they fixed, so I wanted to make you aware of that. A lot of other fixes as well. I won't get into all of that. The main thing is that they have added a tutorial for amphibious operations for landing operations so this is going to involve ground troops for the first time so i wanted to take a look at that i uh, just now ran the update for the game so i haven't even looked at this yet yet so we're going to do it together uh, small battle to learn landing mechanics you'll get to a set of video tutorials connected to the situation to understand what happens on screen and what is necessary to do so this uh, obviously this game involves naval combat, it involves land combat, and then it involves the mix of the two, which is amphibious operations. So uh, we are at 8 May 1799. We're still looking at the British versus the Spanish. And we are looking at a situation where we're attempting to land on this island here. So let's take a look and see what we're doing. Our squadron made a sudden move to Spanish island. Covering the trade routes from the colonies to the metropoli, you have to capture it. All right. Also, the Admiralty provided a brig, HMS Knight, for us to, uh, for fire support. Be careful, Cannonballs doesn't care about the color of uniform, and sailors always have aiming issues. Yeah, so friendly fire obviously is a concern here. After your troops land, climb that hill and seize the enemy coastal battery. This feels a little bit like a mini version of uh, Iwo Jima uh, in World War II, because they were trying to take a big mountain and landed at the beach and everything. All right, so... I guess first things first, HMS Knight is our ground support that we can use them for fire. Uh, to land troops on the beach, you first need to anchor your ship, then select uh, boats to deploy control, select landing parties, select boat, and then right click on the beach. To embark land troops, select the unit, select the right click on the, okay, uh, pretty simple. So first things first, we are gonna anchor. Then we're gonna select our landing parties. Got a lot of troops here. Um, can we start turning these guys? Get them to start firing on these people? While we do this, let's land over here if we can. So we can get a little bit of fire support while we're waiting. Alright, shut your sails off. range really okay well they're not gonna help me too much then all right we're about about to be landed here captain prescott major kemp captain bass captain cutliffe all right we've got troops on the ground I think maybe we should not be firing anymore. Just for safety's sake. Let's zoom in and get a look at these bad boys. Alright, here they come. Oh yeah, the red coats, baby. I'm gonna go up the hill a little bit. I don't like the ground that I have compared to what he's got. He's obviously got the high ground. Alright, we need to get up there as quickly as possible. wonder how friendly fire works with, with land troops. Is that going to be an issue with them too? I guess we'll see. Major Kemp's going to be the first one to engage. And it looks like they merged their two units together because they had 130. And now they've just got the one of thir 130. But these are militia, so I would think in theory I ought to be able to take them out. controls for that. Well, his first volley took out five of them. Let's see how we do. Not as good. He only took out four of his. So we need to get the rest of these guys into position as quickly as possible.
and get some flanking fire on them. This is gonna start to make a difference. Don't hit the other guys in the back. I don't know if that matters, but I'm not taking any chances. Get Captain Prescott up here just to cover my flank because I know he's got some other troops over here. Alright, we're driving them off. That's good. Lost 30 men in the process, though. So we'll send two after him, and we'll get these two. I'm still learning the keyboard controls here. Alright, looks like he's dropping back now. We certainly got the manpower. Where's my other ship. I, I don't know that we're going to be able to hit this coastal battery, but we're going to give it a try while we're moving on the rest of these guys. Alright, Militia, I'm not done with you yet. Oh, midshipman sold him. Cutliff is wounded, and there's his other unit. He's got another unit hiding back there. All right, our main goal is this battery up here, so I can't forget that. I'm going to let these guys deal with them. Come on, let's take them out. got pretty good cover that's making this difficult. Alright, we're under fire. That sounded like my cannons going off. I'm gonna kind of draw this a little bit. There we go. Oh man, I am not not doing well numbers wise here. I feel like do we have a melee? Yeah we do. Charge. That militia is just lighting me up right now. Oh, that's why these my my ship's firing. No, stop firing. I think they were hitting my own men. How are we doing over here? Not so good. He's just got really good high ground. I probably should have just concentrated on these units down here first and then gone after the other ones. Instead of splitting my force, that seems like maybe a poor, poor way to start out my career on this game. Let's charge this bad boy. Have we taken out any of them yet? I can't see the number. Really, just one. Okay. Alright, we're starting to make some progress on the militia up here. It's just going really slowly, that's all. Did we wipe out that unit here? I think we did. Excellent. Alright, he is toast. Let's go after these Tyriodors. The Tyriodors. I'm gonna finish off this militia here. Alright, and we did. Excellent. Take out the battery. Hello, boys. Oh, they are gonna fire. Oh, 
Ouch. Captain Prescott got routed. Guys are tough, man. They did not want to give up. All right, so there's the battle. And so we can see it's a very similar uh, outcome uh, kind of ta table as you get in Ultimate General Civil War. You've got side A, side B, uh, your fleet strength, your fleet casualties and losses, army strength, army casualties. Obviously, these being crew members of my fleet, they're not exactly the best foot soldiers, and that may be why they perform so badly, that combined with my mismanagement of them uh, in the field. But uh, So there we have, we destroyed the one unit of Tyrodors, and you kind of see the outcome with everything. The officer report, they were some of them were promoted. Uh, cut, uh, Cutliff promoted to Commodore. Uh, there's the goods that we captured, which is unlimited, apparently. But there you have it. So you get to see a little bit of an amphibious operation. Obvi obviously, this is far uh, from a completed product. And you see there's a lot more uh, in the battles that can be fought. Even in the tutorial, we're still waiting. I'm guessing the next update has the land battle. Uh, but I'll go ahead real quick and just read to you some of the updates and fixes that have happened since the last uh, video that I showed you. Here we go. Uh, AI ships will not leave the battle zone. They will return into active zone. That was obviously an issue I had in my playthrough last time. We found that actions for success boarding are not clear. Boarding will get a panel indicating actions and states for success boarding. Speed, angle, and distance are tracked. It does not give 100% warranty that boarding will start, but you can easily understand what is wrong. So there you have it. You can kind of see what you need to do differently to make a successful boarding. Uh, when a ship is outside the battle zone, she will leave the battle within two and a half minutes. If you need the ship, you'll have to return the ship into the active zone or the ship will escape. Fix the issue when a uh, hit did not spawn a particle in a decal. So just some cosmetic things. You can send a sinking ship on shallow and the ship will stop to sink. Uh, the feature will be used for campaign where any ship is important and you can save her. Uh, we have added a separate section for tutorial missions. Now tutorial videos won't pause the game. You can learn game mechanics in smaller and simpler missions. Uh, we've added information about keys and a list of video tutorials in the menu screen. Uh, so you can see there just uh, all of the stuff that shows you. Uh, so let's take a look at that real quick. because um, In the tutorial, I don't remember seeing that. I don't know if that was somewhere else and I just didn't see it. But uh, here's the controls. You can see I have graphics set to high right now, but not ultra. All right, so it's here. Uh, if you click on the menu while you're in the game, it shows you all these options as far as camera controls. Uh, and then there's these tutorial videos that are going to show you what to do and how. So those are going to be very helpful, especially for noobs like me who are still learning the whole age of sale process and what matters, what doesn't, things like wind and where to fire and how to fire and what to fire. Uh, so all of that's going to be available right there. So. Uh, like I said, this is early alpha. It's a closed alpha, so this is the very beginning, the bare bone stages of this game. There's so much more to be added. I'm really looking forward to the campaign and to land battles between armies. So as soon as that comes, I will make that available to you, and you will certainly be the first to see it as soon as it's made available to all of us. So as always, thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's a little bell there. If you hit that, you can uh, indicate that you want to receive notifications anytime new content is added to this channel. And uh, please leave a comment down in the section below, and we will talk again soon. Thanks for watching.